Hello, and welcome to the Installing Oracle XE video tutorial for Windows XP Professional. On the screen is a small notepad window for those of you who are merely watching this video. There is a full tutorial article with this video as well as printed links at the tutorial article link on the screen. This video assumes that you have downloaded the software. The link is shown on the screen and also that you can log into Windows XP Professional as a member of the administrators group. We have to make one check in the control panel and then we can start installing. So we're going to go and we're going to open up our control panel. We're going to choose our internet options. We're then going to go to the security tab, click our local intranet, click our sites, click advanced, and you're going to want to make sure that 127.0.0.1 is in the allowed websites. If it's not, you merely add it to the add window up above, and then you would click add. This will add it in so that the communications work properly. So we'll back out of this and now we're ready to install. You're going to want to navigate using Explorer or however you choose to where you downloaded the file and then you're going to want to double click on it to start the extraction and installation process. it will take a moment to extract it as a larger file. The Oracle XE UNIV that we are installing here contains support for international language sets and by default should probably be the one you want to install. Okay, here we go. We're ready to install. We click Next. Obviously, we have the license agreement, which if you want to read it, you can. Accept it and click Next. Here you choose where you want to put it, and if there were any installation options, what you wanted, what you'd want for those options. If you do try and install it where there's not enough space, it does warn you. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to change it so that it sticks it on a different drive. Or you can use the screen below to navigate to where you want to install it. That's set. We click Next. We enter a password. We are using capital C O N S U L T, the number 1, and N G for the purpose of this tutorial. Enter it in twice and click Next. This is used for both the Sys and System database accounts, so remember it. This shows you the three ports that the system will use. When you're all set, you hit Install, and it will start running through the installation process. Now we've actually edited out the uh, quite a bit of it actually installing. Actual total install time on the machine that this is being recorded off of was about 14 minutes. If you do get warnings from your firewall or antivirus, either make the appropriate settings as you deem necessary or contact your network administrator. By default, Oracle Express Edition will not accept any outside connections from other machines. We, however, will be enabling that support. You do also need to be aware it does not support secure transmission. Anything transmitted to Oracle Database Express Edition is in the clear and unencrypted. 
So if it's for an internal network, not too bad. When it's done installing, it gives you this screen, and you can choose to launch the database homepage here, which I'm not going to do, because what you can always do is you can go to the Start menu, Programs, Oracle Express, uh, Oracle Express Edition, Launch Database Homepage is always an option. Now here, I'm going to navigate to the main page for the Express Edition. and we're going to be enabling the remote access. For this you have to log on using the system account. So we type in system, making sure it's in all caps for this case, and then we enter in our password and we log in. Under the administration icon at the bottom it says manage HTTP access. That's where we're going. From here we select the appropriate radio button and click apply changes. And it takes a moment but the access was updated. There is an issue that Oracle is aware of where occasionally it will not actually display that the changes were made even though they were. If you ever need to check it, you can always go back and either log back in or go back to the home screen and then just click administration, manage access, and as you can see it did actually take. That completes this tutorial for installing Oracle 10G Express Edition onto Windows XP Professional. I hope you found this guide easy to use and maybe enjoyable. Thank you.